where were the emotions? Where was your head at knowing that this was possibly the biggest match of your career in front of your, your home country, your countrymen, your friends, your family, and possibly the biggest opportunity you've had to that date? I was a mess, John. I was angry. I totally mess. Um, I've probably been more uh, open with this over the last couple of years, but some people seem to still not know about this, but I deal with a lot of uh, performance anxiety really, really badly to the point where um, most shows, if I'm totally honest, I will be backstage probably throwing up even to this day. I, I can't explain it. I don't know what causes it. It doesn't matter how big the show is. It doesn't matter how small the show is. Um, my body now seems to react this way and I'm an absolute mess. But of course, this wasn't just any show. This was the biggest opportunity of my life, let alone career. So I was a mess. Um, but skipping back a few few weeks, it wasn't just the fact that this was the biggest opportunity of my career and Mark's career. Um, and we were in our hometown, uh, sold out in Cardiff. But uh, I want to say... 10 to 12 weeks prior to this, I had a match um, in Cate's and um, it was for the Attack Pro Wrestling Championship, I do believe. And I dislocated my shoulder for the second time. Uh, shoulder came out um, and I think I went and got it x-rayed or I went and got it MRI'd and they were like, you've tore, whatever that surgeon done the first time, you've, you've tore it up, you've destroyed it, you've tore your labrum again. And the question then was, okay, you might have to have surgery, you might have to have a bigger surgery this time. And I was kind of like, okay. And then they announced TakeOver Cardiff. And I was like, right, can I rehab this? <laughs> and if I can rehab this, is there a chance for me and Mark Andrews to be on this show? So there was two questions to that. So the question was, I could rehab it. Uh, there was no, there was no guarantee that it would stay in, but there was. I could rehab it, and I think the the um, and I think they said to us that it would take twelve to sixteen weeks to rehab, and I think that takeover was sixteen weeks, and I think that for for us to qualify, we had to beat uh, one of us had to beat one of the members of Gallus, and one of them one of us had to meet. One of the members of GYV. That's right. And those matches landed exactly 10 weeks after the uh, dislocation. So um, 12 to 16 weeks, and I go back in 10. Now, whether that's due to hard work or whether that's due to stupidity, we will never truly know, Jonas. But um, the takeover itself was so nerve wracking because I'd had one match since that dislocation. And there was no guarantee that this shoulder was going to stay in. Now, of course, that shoulder could have came out five minutes in, 10 minutes in, 15 minutes in. And you could be sat here talking to me, Jones, about how I almost became the first Welsh champion in WWE history. So going through that curtain or getting ready for that, absolute mess. I remember Triple H, Shawn Michaels, William Regal, all day on the left. Music starts to play. I'm being sick into a bin. Or well, they look at me going, what the hell is going on? Wipe my mouth, whatever. Somebody asks me, am I right? I go, yep. And we just walk through the curtain. And the rest, as you know, is history. We, uh, we are one of the best. What a match. Uh, ma one of the best matches of that weekend. One of the best tag team matches of that brand's history. Some people say it's the most memorable moment of them of their career as fans. Definitely one of the most memorable uh, moments of, of myself as a wrestler. And it's just it's just one of those full circle apps. There's so many things from that from that event, John, is that we became the first Welsh champions in WWE history. I did it with a man that I met on my first day at training. So again, did that. I did that with my best friends, Eddie Dennis, Wild Ball Mike Hitchman, backstage watching. We also did it in front of our hometown, our home countrymen in front of Mark's family, in front of my family and my future wife. And then on top of that then, the man who made me believe I could become a professional wrestler, Adrian Street, was also in the building from the same town as me. If I was to create this scene for a movie, you would tell me that it, it's too much. Like this, this can't be real. And all those things lined up absolutely perfect. And what a full circle moment.
Oh, mate. And <clears throat> I watched the match back today in preparation for this. It lives up every single second of it. Um, the, the match, the offense, the action. Obviously, the nerves went as soon as you got into the ring because it definitely didn't show, my friends. But, uh, I, I mean, thinking back to the match, I don't think it could have gone any better. It was super smooth. The sequences, the offense, uh, like I say, the, the, the action involving yourself and Mark and, and that finishing sequence was just, it was, it was dreamlike. It was dreamlike. You couldn't have planned it any better. Thinking back on it now, um, have you had a better match? I don't know. Um, for everything else, ticking all those boxes, reactions, as you said, the moment I walk out, the crowd's electric, we get in there, and it's the best atmosphere I've ever had. Yeah. And I remember just thinking to myself, bloody hell, this is incredible. And I think there's a, there's a moment early doors. I can't remember what it is, but there's a moment early doors where we hit something and I think there's a big old kick out. Maybe it's a maybe it's a swan on early doors, and there's a big kick out. And I remember just looking at you and that reaction off the crowd and how into it they were and how invested they were in us and our atmosphere. And I remember just looking at Mark and thinking, "We've got this. We've got it." Like, and that was like maybe like five minutes in, and it just and that atmosphere didn't give up, and it and it just kept going and kept going and kept going. And I don't know. It's it's a difficult. One. I've got ones that are. Live in my memory, and uh, definitely ones that I'd put up in. Like, if you had to say to me, list your list your top ten favorite matches of all time. I've got ones that are maybe swap and change and close, but mm -hmm. I don't think anything ever will will top it. As long as I don't, I don't know. Again, as I said, I my goal was to be to appear in a Peter Regime music video once. <laughs> that was my all, that was my all time goal. Um, never thought I guess I would have let alone be able to say I was the first person from Wales to hold a championship with one of my best mates. Uh, there's the picture, yeah. Look at that. That's mental, isn't it? Um, I don't think uh, I don't think it'll ever kind of. We're in history now. Like we're, we can't ever be taken away from us. So uh, yeah. There you go. It will be uh, history uh, forever and a 